Hello everybody, it's Mr. here, and welcome to Shipwrecked 64. I almost said VR, no it's 64. Sorry. This is basically an ARG, and dear god is loud. That is, you have no idea how loud it is in my ear. I'm sure I've turned it down for you guys. So you guys can actually hear, but that, that theme music is loud as hell. And oh. That already gives some eerie vibes. Anyway... Um, welcome to Shipwreck 64. Uh, this is basically, um, I don't know how to do anything. This is the return to menu area. Um, so yeah, this is basically an ARG, uh, from what I understand. Uh, it's an ARG in a video game, and it's really interesting, apparently. It's apparently got a lot of horror elements and stuff. Apparently ease interact. That sounds very weird. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very interesting way of doing this. Should I have used a controller? Now we have a controller hooked up. Oh, I can hit. I don't know what all my controls are going to be. But apparently that also locks our cam, which is interesting. I don't know if it's just locked in this room, or if that's just... Okay, so... I'm using an Xbox controller, so this is going to take a second to figure out. Okay, so that's just background music. For now, I guess I'll turn that on. Just in case there's something hidden in it. Again, this is an ARG. Uh, so, I'm betting there's secrets hidden in, like, the most ridiculous of spots. Like, maybe this wall can be jumped through. Oh, I have a double jump. Oh. What did I just do there? Oh, there's a ceiling bit out there. I wonder if that's a secret already. I have to, uh monkey with that later. But, for now, uh, we're gonna go into new game. And we're gonna see how this goes. Make your choice. Locked. The game that was removed from the shelves. Please play the fixed version to unlock. Shipwrecked. The 2023 version. Shipwrecked as it was intended to be. Uh... Recreated using a game design doc and older assets. Okay. So yeah, the lore of this game is that it. Oh. I need your help. Step into the three D realm with Bucky and his friends. Explore a vast open island and hopefully bring your friends back to safety. So what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang! Okay, so there's two versions of this game. I bet there's hidden secrets in both. Press A to skip. No, thank you. I won't be skipping this. Okay, what does it say? Hello! Welcome to Shipwreck 64 2023. Shipwreck 64 was meant to be released in 1997, but was pulled after three days for some reason we, no we do not know. We have been working on trying to restore the game. Uh, the closest possible thing is finished now. We were able to transfer most of the game to a new software, but had to fill some gaps ourselves. This version of the game is mostly clean. Okay, so that's the established ARG bit. Day one. Day one of what? 
Why does that sound like whispers in the background? Lucky Beaver. Oh, hi! Looks like my prayers have been answered. Listen, you gotta help me. I was out on the sea with my friends. And I crashed my boat. It was awful. I like how this actually feels like one of those older games. Because I don't know if any of you have ever, ever played like old GameCube, PS1, uh, Nintendo 64 games. They all had this weird bit. This was, this was an entire thing in like that old style of game. Where the main character would introduce itself to you and talk to you, the player. It was weird, and it was... Uh, there's a lot of games that do this. So that's very interesting that they decided to do that with this. I wonder if that has significance. Uh, and I crashed my boat. It was awful. I don't know if that, it has significance. And my friends were all kidnapped. Oh. I don't know if it has significance. Or if it's just they decided to go with that, you know, to keep with the style of, like, old 64 games. Who knows? It was pretty bad, yeah. But you can help, right? Here, let me show you how it works. God, this really does feel like I'm playing on, like, an old N64 PS2 game. Is the analog stick to move yet? Wee, I move. Oh, I have to actually push something. I thought it would just continue. You can also press A to jump. When no one's talking. Alright. Press the B button to interact. Okay. You can also press right bumper to hit. Remember to look for... Canvas. Canvases, too. You can save on those. Last thing, hold the left bumper to run. Ah. Left trigger. Uh, okay, good luck, buddy. I'm all yours. 1 p.m. Okay, so there's a time mechanic in this game, it seems. What was the timer for, though? It says the hull. Ooh, is it? Is this where I can save? Yep, as it says on it. Let's save. Why did that kind of... Did, did anyone else just hear that in that sound? Hold on. There's something in the undertones of that sound. Hold on. There's like another tone playing whenever that plays, so that's... That's odd. I wonder if there's like a secret thing there. Same with that sound. That is a weird sound. <laughs> Can I interact with this? You found a secret! Check the menu later to see it. Oh. It's a note about the hull. Hello and welcome to... Nullaterra. You're in the hall now, a safe space for new visitors. Make yourself comfy and take care. Chief Wolf. Okay, so were my friends kidnapped, or did they just... get inducted into a tribe or something? I don't know how well the sounds of this game are coming through to you guys. I've turned it down a bit, since it's fucking loud as hell. Like, this is the, one of the loudest games I've played. What's this way? It says the park. Let's go to the park. Okay. Save here. Let's see. 
There's a locked door. Can't interact with it. Am I gonna give me any hints there, huh? Probably a secret key somewhere I can get to. Uh... I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to be going. There was a guy over here, wasn't there? No, there he is. Why are you just walking in the reeds? Who the fuck are you? Wolf, it's really hot out, isn't it? It's not the sun telling you that for certain. Just... Please leave for your sake. What is happening on this island? Alright, there's another person we can act or interact with over here. Who are you? You look... You're from the menu. Are you one of my missing crewmates? Hi, Bucky. Thank goodness you're okay. Okay, this is... Olive Otter. Okay. Listen, I'm in a tight situation here. We were sent to gather coconuts for wolves to pay off our debts for the crash. I'm not great at finding things, though. If you can help, I'll be able to leave. They're often hidden in trees or boxes. Hit or interact with those, and you'll get them. Come on, let's get this over with. Oh, did I just accidentally find a level? <laughs> I have accidentally found a level. Okay. Um, so you said chests. There was nothing inside inside the chest. Trees. Did I just hit those multiple times? Oh yeah, now I can't interact with it anymore. Okay. Okay. So I'm guessing the majority of gameplay in this is just going to be me completing these missions. That's actually pretty interesting. I like how they actually have... This actually, legitimately, I'm pretty sure I have played a level exactly like this in an actual, like, old-ass, like, GameCube game. It might have been that, uh... If anyone remembers, the, uh... That, um... Oh, is it Piglet one from, uh, GameCube? The one where you, like, go into his nightmares and it was actually really creepy. For, like, a Winnie the Pooh game. Like, and honestly, that was, that, that one. I'm sorry, what? I can hit you? Oh, this is an ARG, so I'm betting there's, like, walls I can walk into. I don't know if there's going to be any secrets in this version of the game. Or if they're going to only be in the other version that's apparently locked. Because that is the question I have. But this one probably has some hints. Even if this doesn't have, like, the ARG elements, it might have hints. Because otherwise, why would two versions of it exist? You know, that, there's two separate mysteries here. And we have to solve both. Which, I wouldn't be surprised. Considering I've seen this everywhere recently. Like, legitimately, my entire recommended feed on YouTube has been full of this. That's why I knew I had to get it. I've been avoiding watching any videos on it. As to, you know, not taint my perspectives, but I know that there's gotta be something here. You found a secret! Oh, that's not a... <laughs> Okay, maybe I should open up all the chests before I get all the fucking, uh, thingies. Can I jump through this wall? Oh, there's something back there. What's this path? Oh! I have discovered secret. Can I go back? No, I can. Okay. I've discovered secret, but I'm gonna get more of the coconuts so that I, you know, can get the secret and actually complete the mission. If that's even possible.
Okay, first thing we're gonna do... Open this. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to complete this. Okay, we're just gonna sprint through this. Through the wall. And we're gonna try and follow this path, I guess? Leads over this way. Hmm. Maybe there's something back here in another point in time. Who knows? But I've discovered something. I thought it was a little weird that the path just veered off into a wall. That also veers off a cliff. I might have to... Hmm. Oh, no, I know, I guess this part isn't the path. This is a... That's just a beach. Oh my god, I need literally two more. One more. Fuck! Literally one coconut short. Okay, so we found something. That might lead to something else later. Ah, whoops. That's okay, we can always go again. Alright, let's go again. No hard feelings, let's try again. Remember to check everything. No stones unturned, okay? Already planning on it, I already discovered that there's something hidden here. Did it get foggier? I don't remember it being this foggy. Like, really. This is a very... Was it this foggy? I don't... Someone go back on the footage and look. Or I will in the in the uh, future. And tell me if it was foggy or not. I will, I'll probably know by next episode. I'll probably look. But... Please inform me if it was fog this foggy or not. I don't remember it being this foggy. But yeah, let's get all the things that we can. Get every single secret we can find as well. Open every chest. Get every coconut. I will beat the shit out of every fucking tree I see. Slap that ass. Get slapped. Haha. -ha. I'm slap happy, bitch. I got the coconuts. There we go. So now I have the coconuts. Is the secret? Oh, the chest is actually gone now. I see. I was missing the first few strikes. My bad. Here's Slappy. If anyone gets that uh, reference to Goosebumps, uh, congratulations, you are informed of Goosebumps. <laughs> okay, so I need to find, like, the lighter trees. The darkened ones are the ones that I've already slapped the shit out of. Bucky's very slap-happy. That is such a, like, vile slap sound. 
Maybe you should have been called Slappy instead of Bucky. Although it's very odd that he's just called Bucky. Bucky the Beaver. Like, clearly in reference to Buck Teeth. But also, all beavers have Buck Teeth, so... Is that... That's a little bit of a interesting title to choose. Or be named. There we go. Got it done. What the fuck? 4742? I just got an achievement called Achieve 4742. Is that a bug or is that... Why is there... That is a weird achievement. Okay. Perfect. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll meet you at the shore. You truly are a hero. Okay. So, she's gone. Uh, it says living quarters. Ooh, there's a chest. Is this a secret? You found a secret! Yeah, check out on the menu. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. What all is around here? What is this? Where's this laid? It says theater. Let's go to the theater. Hello, sir. I'm just waiting for the next show. There's one about a beaver I like. You know, you look a lot like him. You're lucky. Okay. I mean, I probably don't feel very lucky. I got a shipwrecked. Oh, who the fuck are you? You're also from the main menu. Are you, are you the other one of the other friends I'm looking for? There we go. God, that noise. I hate that. That was loud as fuck. Hey, what took you so damn long? Look, wolves have been on my tail all day. Part of my debt is to cook for these mutts. But I can't turn the dial with these damn wings. They're useless. Okay, get in there, rodent. Is this a friend or is this just a jackass? Else says damn a lot. What am I looking for? Oh. oh I'm just start trying to stop them from burning, I see. There we go. I see how this works. I understand the mission now. Mission statement is clear. I must regulate. This is like the fucking cake, give cake mini game from FNAF. In fact, this is very derivative of that. <laughs> Only significantly, significantly easier because they go away immediately after. <laughs> okay, apparently that's the end of it. <laughs> The, the achievement is where's the lamb sauce? Great reference. Great reference. Smell that? That right there, my friend, is a good meal. I'm impressed, I'll admit. First time, too. Alright, see you at the beach. It looks like it's midnight. We should try to find a place to sleep. You should go to the hall for now. Okay. I'm gonna save immediately in case of crashing. We'll always remember to save often. Okay, so we have to go go to the hall.
I mean, the beach, I think, was this way. There's just a locked door there. Was I right? Yes! Okay, I was right. Okay, there's Olive. I don't know where the bird bastard is. Um, but... Uh, this is very intriguing. I'm gonna end this video here, though. Uh, I know it's very short, but, um, I just wanted to do a single no-cut video of the beginning of the game, just to, you know, make sure I got a good intro. Introduction to this game. So, I hope everyone has enjoyed it. Please join the ranks of the SCP Foundation. Don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I will see you next video, live stream, whatever next. Peace, guys!